hey folks, we record in advance. So I completely forgot to announce that we will be taking next week off in observance of the U.S. holiday Thanksgiving. The entire cast of TPG wishes you a safe and happy holiday. Last time on Total Party Guild. I think we're in zone nine. Is there a way to stop said acid leak? Like maybe to like... Roll me an intelligence check. Do, do, do. It's just straight intelligence. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, yeah, it's a nat one. <laughs> oh, man. Real smart dude, guys. Real smart. <laughs> yeah, you know, you I was going to make a comment about that uh, in the intro when you said that mm-hmm. out loud. Yeah. And I was like, hmm, that's yeah. going to come back to bite us. Yeah. yeah. Hubris. Welcome, heroes. My name is Jeremy Blackheart, and I'll be DMing this story arc of Total Party Guild, a weekly retro wave inspired live play 5th edition D&D podcast. This week, the guild will be hiring Vanessa Otero playing Jewel Von Onyx, the human glamour bard who has 28 of 43 hit points and 4 spell points. Singer, your lovable cleric, who is currently rocking maximum hit points of 33 and 7 spell points, so I can blast them baddies. Justin Lamb playing Stenel Bjornsson, the halfling barbarian who still got a little rage left in him. 43 hit points. Ooh, I forgot my name. Uh, my name is Sean, and uh, I play Singer, so yep, sorry. <laughs> and our guest... Matthew Crum playing Dimble Pillican, the uh, exhausted gnome artificer. I think this one is best left to the players. Do you want to explain the predicament you've gotten yourself in? Well, I found a cool new toy. Oh, yes. No, for sure. Uh, You did find a cool new toy and uh, somebody and I can't remember who. So no pointing of fingers was like, let's keep going. And somebody else. I uh, was like, let's rest and get better. But no, no, we can't. We can't wait because there's people in there that might die. Right. That sounds like a conversation that happened. Um. Also, the thing that we have is a, like, submersible crab tank. So we'll totally And the people fine. who might die is us. <laughs> 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 but that's okay because we're, we're going to go stomping in like true heroes and take on all of these things that lie before us, which which is a whole bunch a whole bunch of of fish people and um some sort of giant gelatinous cube or jelly like substance. Our adventurers have rescued mm. Zozel and Velissa and fought their way to the end of the Kuatoa dungeon. Before them stands a raised platform with a massive gelatinous cube. With that same deep purpley blue viscous jelly with the lightning running through it. Leading up to that platform is a 20 foot wide stairwell. And standing in front of the jelly are three Kua Toa. One with a staff and long draping kelp robes. Another buff looking fish man with a man catcher and another frumpy looking grunt. At the bottom of the stairwell there are six grunts arranged in an oval shape with the two furthest grunts worshiping and praying towards the soul jelly and the four other grunts with spears ready towards the hallway. The priest is staring down the stairs at the party. The platform itself is about 110 feet across and about the same distance deep. To the western side of the cavern, The ocean sprays in and the tide carries kelp and garbage and other crap out of the cavern. It's stormy outside. You can hear the lightning and thunder going as the storm rages on. You can see just a little bit of the ocean underneath the cavern wall. I look at Singer because we're standing next to each other behind Stenel and Dimble and the apparatus. And I say, we can run, come back. Well... 
I thought the whole idea was that uh, there was other people that were going to die in here, and if we didn't go and save them, then that would be that. And look, we have a tank, so why don't we use that? Well, looking at it, I mean, like like Dimble said, the people that die might be us. Oh, I think he was speaking metaphorically. Can you roll me perception checks? Dimble at disadvantage. A dirty 10. All of my 15. perception rolls are dirty because I don't have any perception. Uh, <laughs> dirty 5. 7. Singer, yours was 15? Yep. Diagonal from the northeast corner of the raised platform, you see there are a series of pipes. And you see one of them has a big gash and it's spilling that same colored liquid into the sea. That's probably the thing that we need to fix. The pipe itself is probably two feet in diameter with a big jagged gash across it. It looks like something massive and sharp just scraped across it. Need some kind of magic band-aid. I wonder if we can turn off the pipes and then fix it. Did did they notice us yet? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So oh, the okay. priest was so they're just kind of standing there, staring us oh, down. I was waiting to kind of give you guys a last decision making process, and then we're gonna roll initiative. A chance to say goodbye. <laughs> I'm going to look across to my companions that I've been fighting with for the last uh, several months to a year and and nod at them, steely-eyed determination, and I, uh, I you know, get my spear ready and clang it on my shield. Ooh, I got a new spear too, didn't I? Yeah, it's not really a spear. Yeah, did you send that to me? Because yep. I don't remember. I posted it in chat and you read it out loud. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so um, let me find it in chat. It's only been about six years since we did this. <laughs> I'm going to look at Singer getting amped up and remember that I'm supposed to be the one giving everybody inspiration and I steal my gaze too and look forward like, let's fucking do this. Oh, man. Fucking do this. Dimble can't see any of these inspirational things because he's inside of a tank. <laughs> <laughs> Which is inspirational in its own way. Yeah. Very much. It's like, I'm immortal. I'm in a tank. Strap Jewel to the top of the flaming guitar. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find out a way to introduce um electric guitars i mean that could easily be a thing yeah we should try we should that could be a legendary item uh proprietary total party guild the uh electric guitar bar legendary bard item when i originally was I making a that. secondary character i was like i should have them have a synth that would be amazing or like a guitar but then anyway. it didn't really fit with my continued character design but maybe I'll shoehorn it in there some. 80s glamour rock band uh, of bards. <laughs> said, are we ready? As we're we'll ready. ever be. Oh, I thought Sean was looking at that thing. I am. I summon my lightning sphere. Oh, fancy. And roll initiative. Heck. That's a that's a whopping five for Jewel the Bard. What's that, Justin? You're quiet. Five. Hey, twinsies. Um, you two Tw decide who goes first. Uh, it's based on decks usually, right? I have a plus one. Uh, you go first. Okay. Dumble? 21. Yeah, I figured, you know, why save your crits for things that matter? <laughs> Just roll it on initiative. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Singer? Some. Uh, 15. Give me a moment. It's generally a bad sign when your DM has to take five minutes to roll initiative. You don't know. Well, he's got like 20 things on the board. It's like Yes, 10. to the listeners, if you could only hear or if you could only see a screenshot of the map, it's full of text and icons. Take a screenshot and post it. Yeah, let's make sure That's that a happens. very good idea. Um, it is going to be very sucks. important that uh, we squeeze every last drop of effectiveness out of everything we can do here. <laughs> Otherwise, this is going to go very poorly. I'm actually glad that Dimble gets to go first because maybe he can charge in there and, and you know, get them to, to focus on, on him. Snap some plan. legs with his pinchers. That'd be good. That'd be a good thing. Hey, uh, DM, real quick question. If I throw the lightning spear, does it come back to me? Or can I summon a second one? Like, how's that work? Didn't I write I it disappears it after you throw it and then you can summon it with the bonus action? I think so. Uh, maybe. Maybe I didn't read that all the way through. Um. There's so much stuff on the map. My computer's running really slow. So, Arkuatoa, aberration, celestials, elementals, phase fiends, or undead? Mm, no. I think they're fish or monstrosities. They are medium humanoids. Well, balls. Oh, they're humanoids. They're reverse oh, cool. mermaids. They don't look a thing like humanoids. They're people shaped. Mm -mm. 
get they because they and have arms, feet and fingers. Look at them. They're, they have thumbs. they're so gross. They don't I mean, look like mermaids. Tieflings are the humanoids. Paintings. Yes, but we're gorgeous. Oh. Yeah, but you don't look like a human. I mean, I have a human head mm. with gorgeous horns coming out of it. Okay. It's not my fault humans don't have gorgeous horns. I feel like they'd get in the way of a lot of things. Dumble. Uh, the fishy horde is before you. My cats. What do you do? All right. Uh, I'm going. How far forward can this thing go? What's the movement speed? 30 feet? 30 feet. Uh, so I will charge forward 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Don't get straight in the middle of them. Why not? If oh, they're gonna, no, go get straight in the middle of them, yes. Yep. No, if they're going to like shatter or something, we don't want to hit the... I can't, nah, I can't shatter it. anything. I have to I don't think we have the spell slot. I don't think we have the spell points for shatter. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll get here. Uh, and then I will... God, I can't, I can't attack because I, it takes an, an action to extend... As well. Can you honk the horn and just be like, like no. Kukaracha? No, I can't. <laughs> you gotta uh, upgrade that tinkerer. I will I will ex- extend the claws so they are ready for an attack next turn. Well, as a I think as an action you can move two levers. Oh, and one's to move the tank, Yeah, one right? to move forward and one to yeah. Ah. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a plotting process. All right. Dimble moves the tank forward. Is it possible to make it so Dimble is on top of, like, so I can see mm, Dimble when he's in the tank? I don't think I can layer. You can just put him next to it, and we know you're in the tank. Let's put you sure. off to the side. I'll so just put him over here somewhere. Easier. Nope, I can't see from the t- from the tank <laughs> size. Never mind. Oh, he's right there. Feedback for Astral: We need like a a vehicle <laughs> option. We need a planes, trains, and automobiles pack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the the crab thing is scuttling forward and just menacing. It's menacing them with its claws. Go, oh, Dimble. The fishy priest raises his staff, and above him there is a spectral, massive lobster claw floating in the air, and he sends it down towards the party. Eleven. There's eleven things. So he'll summon it at the bottom of the stairs in the air and then move it. Hovering over the tank. And it starts biting into the metal. And Dimble, inside the apparatus, you can hear a loud damaged metal screeching that rings your ears. My baby. (laughs) Ah, don't worry. That'll buff right out. And then grunt number 18 is going to run and momentarily poke the tank with his spear. And it deflects off. And he looks puzzled. The poker. As puzzled as a fishy man can. Just <laughs> glassy it's eyes. It's just the agape staring. mouth. The dumbfounded agape mouth. <laughs> they constantly look like they're, they're like just confused. Like all of them just standing there with the mouth open. <laughs> Life must be tough in there. Singer, you're up. Oh, um, good. I'm going to run 30 feet straight ahead. Uh, and I can't move my character or do anything on that map um, because it crashed. So go ahead and move my character 30 feet straight ahead. Um, do I get in contact with the fishy man? Nope. Okay. Um, are the people on the pedestals within 60 feet? 75. Mm, that's too far. Um, I am going to go ahead and use my uh, action to charge another 30 feet straight ahead going, Rah! and I want to, to um, try to skirt around one of them, but... Yeah, no, I'll just keep running. I'll just keep running. If I if I get close enough where they get a opportunity attack, so you're attack, going so to it. charge the stairs. I right, yep, that's what I plan on doing. Charging the stairs. Here I go, singer. No, full confidence that my allies will come behind me. Uh, since you can't see what's going on, if you run out of sight diagonal, you can avoid an opportunity attack. Um. Uh, I will do that if it brings me within 60 feet of the pedestal. Yes, there's 45 feet. Then that's, that, that's what I will do. And that's your turn? Yep, and I kind of hunker down behind my shield. <laughs> no bonus. for the counter charge. No bonus action? I don't have anything I can use with that. Oy. Uh, the whip picks up a net and walks down the stairs with this man catcher in one hand and net in the other. He's going to attempt to net you, Singer. What's your armor class? Uh, AC 18. And it doesn't unfurl quite all the way. And you manage to knock away the weights of it with your shield. Ha ha ha. Singer Ooh. number 23 is going to get to your diagonal. 
and make purchase with the spear for six points of damage. <laughs> Ow! Number 24 is coming up to your side. Singer! And catches your armor and doesn't make purchase. Jewel. So I look at Singer, wide-eyed, running into the fray of everything, and I do like a, a deep, like, psych up. <laughs> and then I kind of, uh, I, thinking of the word, hold on. I just kind of um, doodle a couple notes on the citron. You can tell I'm a real musician in real life. And um, um, <laughs> I cast using the citron itself, bark skin on myself, which gives me an AC of 16. Oh, is that plus dex too? Uh, it, hold on. It says you touch a willing creature until the spell ends. The target skin has a rough bark like appearance and the target's AC can't be less than 16 regardless of what kind of armor it's wearing so it doesn't really say it just says it can't be less than 16 yeah the i'm using a druid that uses bark skin tonight in my other campaign and it's it just sets your lowest possible ac to 16 doesn't include modifiers at all but then if you have armor or something that makes it higher than that then that okay. takes over hey so my plus one studded armor would that do anything no it's just your armor is 16 no matter okay. what your anything else is Okay, so I did uh, checking back into the game. Where I, my bark skin uses my action. It gives me 16 AC up from thir 13, 12, I think. And um, I'm going to kind of start jogging forward. Hold on, let me count real quick. I'm going to jog up just behind the apparatus because that's as far as I can get with my movement. And then um, I'm going to... Do another uh, strum of the sit turn and cast my mantle of ma my mantle of inspiration, and uh, just kind of like a swirling uh, see through like like plastic wrap with holographic uh, music notes just starts wrapping around me, and I kind of like glow a little bit, and then all of my allies within thirty feet of me, which is everybody, can move they can use their reaction to move their move speed and you gain eight temporary hit points so if you guys want to start oh. moving forward you can thank you uh that make and i'm also going to move up and go back to back with singer so is our goal here to like charge the scary guys or what oh well, it looks like the priest and the whip might be the people we really need to target but people are starting to circle singer so for as long as he stays there i'm going to also be up there so they don't stab him in the back all right so i got a free movement action which i can use to get right up behind where jewel is mm -hmm. and i can't move stenel no oh, weird can you move stenel to just behind jewel please <laughs> charging up past our, our tank because <laughs> it says sure. you're not in astral as noble verdict yeah i'm probably signed in as a, a sedate object which is probably why uh sean can't move oh. singer uh try moving stenal now uh for me there's there we go there's too many objects and my computer keeps crashing. So when I have Astral on, so uh, I don't just, I just don't have Astral on. I'm oh. trying to see your screen. <laughs> Gotta keep Let me try and angle this a little bit. Sean and I are physically in the same room. Uh, so maybe we can make okay. this work. So that was my bonus action spent to charge up and just, yeah, form up. So now uh, uh, remember that thing we shouldn't have done uh, with the wyverns? And stand in a line. We're all standing in a line now. <laughs> mm, well, yeah, we are. Is at the back. <laughs> also, the tank requires separate <laughs> actions to turn, so God I can only go straight. <laughs> Excellent. Wait, so you can use one action to do one thing with the tank? Uh, I can do one, oh, okay. use one action so to do two you things. You turn it and then attack with it, or. No, because right I only have I don't have grunt reach. Eighteen. Oh, but you no, cannot move forward. I get it. Yeah, he was grunt no, eighteen it's, was it's, poking it's, with a spear, so grunt right. eighteen had reach. Could you move it forward twice? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, it says two levers. I get the impression uh, that doesn't be. mean the same it lever doesn't twice. Say you can't. Yeah, you just crank the lever and then it resets and you crank it again. Yeah, double attacks if you get in a position, or it charges ahead. 
All right. So, Jewel, you good? Yeah. Stenel's up. Nobody else was going to use their movement to move? Uh, no, I got to where I wanted to be. Uh, and movement oh, for me isn't okay. a movement. It's an well, action. It's, oh, yeah. You can't use it as a... The crab doesn't have a reaction, have a movement speed. Uh, it does, but it doesn't have... It doesn't give you the ability to take an action. It gives the ability He's to He's just move, doing laps inside it. Using an action. Yeah. That, that's <laughs> what I was thinking. Got to get my steps in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a hamster wheel. You just see the barrel that's turning. Excellent. All right, Steno. All right. So I see a clear path forward, and I'm going to go ahead and assume that since uh, Singer just charged straight on in, that our goal is to charge straight on in. So I want to get within range of this blasty spell. Yeah, but you didn't want to get in range of a blasty spell on the grunts that were arranged in an oval, the six of them. Correct. You were trying to get the big guys in range of a blasty spell. Right. Well, you could have used your reaction to move without invoking an opportunity attack if you wanted to keep moving forward. Oh, no, they're in range now. Yeah, I don't think Oh, okay. It, but it's a ranged attack no, and not you my have spell. people in melee. Oh, spell. Yeah, I think mm. ranged attack, uh, ranged spells do. Uh, it it's get not disadvantage a, no, it, if you're yeah, in okay. melee. You got it. Yeah, it's it's it yeah it's ah, a shatter spell. It's area <laughs> so, of effect. Gotcha. There you go. Episode forty two where we all are forty three where we all forget the rules <laughs> <laughs> or so remember the wrong rules. I don't know. Everything's so, so scary all of a sudden. I thought we were gonna like have them come to us, funnel them in, get them all nice and grouped up. Now we're in, now we're in the middle. I learned it by watching you. <laughs> Why would you watch me to learn anything? I'm last in education. I mean, if you're going to learn something from Steno, That's combat fair. seems like the place to go. Just release your inner badger. Oh, I like that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up my companion's right side where there's still, uh, there's still room. Mm -hmm. So as not to get near the, uh, the fishy grunts. They don't matter. With my scampering feet, I'm going to run up these steps, halfway up these steps towards the dais, but then I'm going to turn around uh, to the guy with the nets, and I'm going to stab him in the back. Okay, roll it. Uh, in, in a badger rage. Got it. <laughs> this is the final rage. The last of my fury, and two attacks as well. Nice. So that is a 17 to hit. You hit. Awesome. And I'm going to roll my second hit. An eight. That yeah. Or was that damage? No, 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 no. <laughs> that okay. Was, that was my second for six damage. Settle in, guys. This is gonna be a long one. <laughs> Rolled a one on my damage die and a two on the d twenty for my second hit. Oof. You do give him a quick cut across the back. The tips of your fingers are starting to go numb. The cold is coming back. This is weird. Well, it never left. Well, it stopped feeling so cold earlier. Still, is that your turn? I believe it is. I've got nothing else. I would like to concede the rest of my time. All right. Grunt number 19 runs up the stairs after you and bars the way and tries to spear you. Armor class? 16. And you misses. Jerk. You dodge as gracefully as you can. Yes. Duck and weave. Grunt number 17 after Singer. Spears you for five points of damage. Uh, thanks for the the temp. Uh, well, and oh yeah. So it's like some some music notes like get in the way of the attack. Jewel, you're hit with a spear, but you just hear a woody thunk. <laughs> not your instrument. <laughs> no, not again. It's the bark skin. Oh yeah, I forgot you cast that on you. You're That's a walking cool. tree. That's cool. <laughs> About now, you feel the floor begin to rumble. All you hear are the waves coming in and the Kuatoa shouting at each other in Undercommon. The jelly at the top of the dais starts to glow like a light bulb warming up. Dimble, your turn. All right. Well, let me tell you about all the cool <laughs> things that I want to do this turn. I can move forward and extend my claws, but not pinch I thought them. We, I thought we already had the claws extended. Or, all right, well, I will do that then. I will move forward and I will pinch at this guy. Um, let's see. I can do two, like, attacks or a grapple and Let's just try and pinch There you go. Uh, a 13. Hits. Uh, yeah, for three damage. Roll. Did you roll double ones? Oh, I rolled a one and a two. It's just 2d6. There's no plus to the damage. 
We are on ice today. We are not doing well. All right. Let's let's attack. 18 to hit. Hits. Uh, for nine damage. The, the claws swoop out. And you do manage to take its non-dominant hand arm off. Nice. That's it. And it starts screaming, screaming bloody murder. As it's that dark iron rich blood spills onto the floor. You've disarmed it. Good work. (laughs) I don't have a marker for it, but that giant spectral lobster claw is going to come for Jewel. And you can feel the pressure as it tries to pinch into your back, but it can't get through the bark. Yay. (laughs) Stenel, make a wisdom saving throw. No, not my wisdom. 12? It mutters something that kind of echoes and resonates in your skull and your chest and then you find yourself unable to move your limbs and you stand there in a statuesque fashion uh, so you huh. are paralyzed for the duration and at the end of each of your turns you can make a wisdom saving throw who did that the whip the oh, okay. priest you have the windows open right dimple uh yeah probably grunt 18 sees the window and the apparatus open and tries to break it it just sounds like somebody punching bulletproof glass. It just thunks, and you nice. can barely hear it inside. Singer, you're... Oh, my God, it's hailing. It's Rain hailing cave. outside. <laughs> Who let the weather in? Singer. I am going to cast Shatter, and I want to get the priest, and it's a 15-foot radius, so whatever else I can clip uh, with it. Put it in the best possible opportunity to, to hit everything. Um, and I'm going to activate uh, my Divine Wrath, And I'm going to cast it at the highest level, so it's 32 points of damage maxed. So you can either hit Grunt 12, the Priest, and the Jelly, or Grunt 19, the Priest, and Grunt 12. I'll I'll hit the Priest and two of the Grunts. And how much damage? 32. Uh, Save for half? Uh, Yep, and it's a 14 DC. Uh, Constitution save. You could hit three Grunts, a a Priest, a Whip, and two Grunts if you want to also hit a Uh, Stenel. Would that break me out of my Paralysis? Um, I'm hoping the concentration uh, failed check would break you out of the paralysis. Oh. All right. You kill both grunts. Ooh. Yes. And the priest looks hurt, but Stenel's still frozen. No. Damn it. That was good. Describe your spell. Um, I uh, look up at the, the priest and I say, Zalia is very angry with you trying to take this wonderful artifact from her, and her wrath will come down from the sky, and me as my divine instrument will destroy you. And as I say the last <laughs> words, this loud boom and rattling and shaking explodes from in front of it. And the two grunts that were, uh, they just vaporized in a gooey jelly and, and meat. And while he's saying that, I'm making Trust. the Winona writer during that Oscar speech. Like, mm -hmm, uh, okay, mm, okay. (laughs) Dimble uses a free action to activate the windshield wipers to get some of the gore off the front window. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Singer, are you going to stay there? Am I still in base to base with another grunt? Three of them. Like three of them? Uh, With three. Then, yep, I'm going to hang tight. The whip is going to attack Stenol. Hey, guy, I'm a statue. And crit because you're paralyzed. Take 14 points of damage. Halved? Yes. Then seven. And that's just Jules music notes. And he's going to walk around to the top of the stairs to get in your way. Grunt 23 is going to leave St- or Singer Square to attack Stenol. I attack him in the back. Go for it. It's a 21. You hit. Get him, Singer. Get him. Ford. Five points of damage. All right. Better than that. <laughs> Did I kill him? <laughs> no. Oh, I tried. So you stab him with your lightning spear? Yes. You see he kind of convulses for a moment, and there's a, a prick that like spews out blood, like a little fountain. <laughs> and he steps up the stairs and lunges a spear into Stenel's thigh. Stenel take eight points of damage, halved. Ah! Uh, ah! Ow. How is Stenel looking? Oh, he's, he's looking like a statue right now with blood pouring out of him. I'm, fi- I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. I, that, that sound, I sound really old when I can't move my lips. Is this <laughs> what being old is? <laughs> can't moving, creaking. Singer, again. make me an athletics or an acrobatics check. Nine. Grunt 24 
tackles you to the ground. Oh. oh. <laughs> and starts wailing on you, trying to find a point with the spear. I struggle. Struggle snuggle. <laughs> Jewel, you're up. Okay. I had a plan and I forgot what it was. Looking at Singer. Is he is he grappled or is he just prone now? He's grappled. Okay. They're different right. things. So am I not prone? I'm just grappled? You're like on the back foot about ready to fall, but you are not prone. You gotta you gotta hit that priest though, so that Stenel can do something. Or or he's fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'll be fine. My whole point is to be a punching bag. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping you're a punching bag that can punch back. <laughs> I was just hoping, okay, I wanted to cast Vicious Mockery, but I was, because um, it's a cantrip, and I didn't want to, I wasn't sure if that would really do anything to break his concentration. If he took damage, he'd have to roll, he'd have to roll a 10 or higher. Yeah, in order to break that threshold, you have to deal like a lot over of 20 damage. damage. Yeah. 22. Okay, so that's really all I can do, because I have range, but I'm going to get hit if I do range. Can I cast Vicious Mockery long distance without getting attacked? Uh, I think it's a saving Yeah, throw. it's a save spell. Okay. So as long as it's not a damage spell. As long as it's not an attack roll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you and if you made an attack roll, it'll just be a disadvantage. They they won't attack you. That's okay. older version. Okay, rules. sorry, I'm getting um I'm getting confused because it's been so long since I played D D. We didn't just do it last night. Okay. Um <laughs> <laughs> and every week I'm personally. Okay. I'm going to Look at the priest, and he's a Kuatoa, right? Yes. And I'm going to say, how do you like your fish, boys? Seared or pan fried? And cast Vicious Mockery. And he has to make a wisdom saving throw. My DC is 15. Roll damage. And I roll this damage. It's 2d4 psychic damage. That's a whopping three. And he has disadvantage on his next okay. attack roll it makes before the... I don't know that that's necessarily okay. helpful, but... Stenel, you can move. Fuck oh. yes. Good Excellent Good work. job. That vicious mockery has been <laughs> fucking life awesome this entire campaign. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have needed that so much. Jewel, are you going to move or do anything um, else? Okay, yeah, that was my action. I don't really have any... I don't really have any bonus actions... Other than healing word. Uh, oh, I will inspire. Um, I will inspire Stenel because he has low whiz, I guess. <laughs> um, Thank you. I'll be like, you got this, buddy. You're doing great. That's it. And, and that's I'm a D6. Uh, it's a D8. I have those. All right, Stenel, you're up. All right. Uh, I feel like I should take this straight to the priest. I don't like any of these guys. All right, so I'm going to sidestep these two guys and i'm gonna charge up the stairs with a flourish text of opportunity i assumed so miss and miss yes. yay can't catch what you can't see as i scamper up on all <laughs> fours and i'm gonna charge the priest and i am going to recklessly attack this guy because forget this nonsense okay i'm gonna assume that a 24 hits yes for uh seven damage still stand okay. second attack oh my gosh okay uh 19 hits mother six damage it's twos and ones on d10s that what was the first one sorry the first damage was seven and the second damage was six okay thank you no worries and is that your turn uh yeah that's my entire situation got it but i'm drawing blood you have and he looks aggravated i'm an aggravating individual <laughs> true will be aggravated okay i'm done number 20 realizing that he's not going to Damage this crab. Steps forward to spear Singer in the back. Unfair. For four points of damage. The last jangly notes like get evaporated and I get a, a bit of a cut. The ground starts to shake some more. The jelly lights up like a fluorescent bulb, illuminating the entire cavern. And you see electricity gather in its top left corner into a ball lightning that's a light pink and it juts out in a zigzag pattern down the stairwell going through stenel the whip grunt 23 singer grunt 20 and the apparatus uh roll me dexterity saving throws no jewel no jewel um this is a threat i can see coming right two yes you also have inspiration yeah i might are you gonna use it uh if that 
fails me, then yeah, 19. It's 14 damage, halved if you pass. Uh, Stenel passes, Singer does not, the apparatus. I mean, I guess it could make a deck save, couldn't it? Well, action just. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be able to move. Mm, I guess not. It doesn't have a stat block either. So. Uh, Grunt 23 dies. Does Stenel take half and then half again? Yes. Singer 14. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, I wrote it down. I'm tingly all over and, and not in a good way. Not in a Zalia's uh, touch sort of way. Well, exactly like a Zalia's touch sort of way, unfortunately. I mean, yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> Zalia's exactly not nice way. with her touches. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes she's nice. Sometimes she is not. Is the grunt directly to the left of Singer? Is that 24? Yes. Okay. Sorry. I'm just making my own notes. Dimble. I guess I can just snap at the one that's close to me. So let's do that. Uh, 14 hits 11 are you actually rolling in the chat yeah that chat's really terrible you should just roll with dice or you can roll in uh our discord the- uh, that's also terrible uh, no. if you have dice roll with dice why is it terrible the averages are really low i got 15 and 16 in that game. yeah those both hit so this is where i don't so you picked up real dice and it really worked i mean the other one was working too uh seven and eight damage to 18 uh yeah the only one. <laughs> good thing we put the tank on the back to clean up the scraps. How do you kill him? Um, it's like that scene from Starship Troopers where like the two pincers go in and then there's just a sickening crunching sound as it is just ripped Ugh, in half. Yuck. And then I activate the windshield wipers to clear off the gore so I continue <laughs> to see. It's a bonus action. <laughs> the priest raises his staff in his other hand in the air and lets out this like weird fishy wobble moan. And the water begins to swell. The water. And the whole cavern. The whole cavern. And it raises above the floor and another five feet. I have a swim speed. Then another five feet. (laughs) Singer. And the ground rumbles one more time. So where I'm standing, am I now underwater? Yes. Okay. Sounds good. From the depths raises a giant blue crab no you monster (laughs) that's bigger than anything else we've ever seen i swim and it looks just like the ones you saw earlier in the dungeon it's a good thing we were really friendly to them right (laughs) were we didn't somebody try to agitate it by tapping on the uh the cage yeah stenol that wasn't me i had my face pressed against a cage at one point and i think there was something trying to claw at me maybe it was one of these guys but I didn't feed it. I didn't stab it. When the four limbs come out and land on the now submerged bridge, the whole area shakes. If only we still had the Gooptopus, he would help us here. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, the friendly Gooptopus that we couldn't catch and didn't want to attack. I remember. Singer, what do you do now that you are submerged in water? Well, Well, first make me an athletics check for swimming. Sorry. Uh, 17. Okay, you're fine. Cool. Awesome. Um, am I still surrounded by these these fishy dudes? Yes. Okay, so I didn't get knocked off my feet when the water rose, but now I'm underwater. And you're grappled. And I'm grappled. Um, cool, 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 cool. Um, can I cast a spell? Does it have a verbal component? Yep, it does. Mm, can you cast spells with verbal components underwater? I would say you can, but it lessens how much air you can hold your breath for. Well, there's nothing saying you can't. So, yeah, go for it. Okay. Uh, sweet. Um, if I cast Thunder Wave, it's a 15-foot uh, cube of sound. Um, that would hit the grapply dude. Plus, uh, can I get anybody else in 15 feet? So if you hit 20, you'd have to target yourself and possibly Jewel to hit anything else. Well, hold on. What's the radius of it? No, cube. It's a 15-foot cube. He could hit 20 himself and the grunt, or he could hit 17 and 20. I, I can't actually aim at myself. It, it extends from myself. Oh, so. so you could hit 20, or you could hit 17 and 20, or you could hit Jewel and 20. 24 is grappling him, not 20. And the apparatus. Can, yeah. I'm I'm gonna hit the one that's grappling that would me be and whatever it. else I can. So hit. you can hit the one grappling you, or you can hit two on the other side of you. Okay. No, no, just the one that's grappling me. Then roll it. Uh, actually, it rolls it. Oh, okay. I thought you, it, it was damage for half. Oh uh, yeah, I'm rolling damage now. Uh, I rolled an eight. You hit it. It looks stunned for a moment, 
but it doesn't relinquish its grip. Bummer. That was the whole point of doing that. So, um, I guess I'm gonna hang on its grip because I can't move while grappled, and I'll drown very slowly. <laughs> very slowly. The whip is going to come up and try to grapple Stenel. Make an athletics or acrobatics check. Uh, that is a dirty twenty. You pass with flying colors. It tries to grab you and you dodge, and then it tries to pin you with the man catcher and you duck underneath. That's right. And I'm snarling badger noises the whole time. Grunt 24 is going to try and swim away with a singer. Jewel, you get an attack of opportunity. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, ooh, natural 20. Oh, you hit. C, oh, that's crit. a 1d8 plus 1, so that's 2d8. Mm-hmm. 10 plus 1, that's 11. Oh, how do you kill it? Uh, so we're floating underwater and I'm trying to stay kind of with Singer just in case. And I see, I see he's trying to get away to no avail. And, um, the, after that whole like shockwave goes off and nothing happens, I see that 24 is, um, grabbing him and trying to float away. And I just like, like panic shoot out my hand with one of the uh with my rapier and just fucking in the gut and i then i yank my hand up so it just like quarters him or whatever just like disembowels him oof and his guts spray out into the tide and i'm like i'm swimming in it (laughs) (laughs) There is a, a squeaky noise behind you as the windshield wipers are activated again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dimble gets to experience submarine life. Submarine yes. You're a real Zisu. <laughs> He's wearing a red cap. Tell us what it's like in there underwater. Is it serene? Is it scary? I can't hear you because it's quiet. <laughs> That's good. Jewel, it's Great your turn. work. You say Jewel? Yes, Jewel, it's your turn. Okay, sorry, I was talking over you. Um, Okay, Stenel's free. I'm going to let myself bob up to the top and... You see Stenel at the top of the stairs wrestling with a whip while a priest chants something. The jelly is starting to glow again and the crab looms over behind. Okay. I can only get like part way up the steps if I leave Singer. I'm going to, uh, right before I pop up, I will like hit him on the back and cast another inspiration into him and then make some underwater motions to like move forward. Just like, uh, you know, the, the top finger and the middle finger, the pointer finger and the middle finger sticking out and the rest of my hand kind of in a fist and just like beckon or gesture with my hands, like move towards Stenel. And then I'll bob up and um, swim in a way so that I'll take an opportunity attack from 20, but then I go kind of around Singer over here to um, to the left of Singer and then swim up the stairs. So that'll get me to here, I think. Hold on. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, it'll get me to here. And um, I'll take an opportunity attack, but I'll be part way up the uh, part way out of the water if i can stand there oh wait 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 wait. actually i can swim 60 feet so i will <laughs> my my manta ray gives me six uh, swim speed of 60 feet so i will move up here and then i will stab the priest so i'll move on the other side of the whip from stenel and then i will um stab diagonally at the priest as you swim away, Grunt 20 catches your calf for seven points of damage. Ooh. And as it hits me, it's like it like doesn't even go in. It just like uh, it looks like plastic kind of bending in towards me and it makes like a boing sound. And I <laughs> still have one hit point or one temp hit point left huh. from my my magic. Um, Okay. And then I swim up there. I am across the whip from Stenel, and I'll stab the priest. Let me roll. Uh, that's a 16 to hit. Hits. Fantastic. And that's a 1d8. Oh, I Finally, rolled an 8 plus uh... 1. So that's a 9. Nice. 9 damage. 
get that advantage going. Do I have advantage? No. Oh, for you, for the whip? Yeah. Well, for us. Yeah. She's not attacking the whip, though. Yeah. I was attacking the priest. You catch him uh, in the yeah. armpit as he's chanting with his hands raised. That's my turn. Uh, Singer has inspiration in case you missed that. Yay. Singer, you're no longer grappled. Even better, yay. Yeah. Stenol, your go. Oh, man. Okay. I did not want to have to do this, but I'd much rather not recklessly attack. So I'm going to scuttle away from the whip to kind of circle the priest. I don't know if the whip still has a, a reaction, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. does it hit me? Yeah, you take eight points of damage. Boo, knock down a four. You can't stop the Stenel train. Many mm. have tried and only a few succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> now this priest is going to get what's coming to him. This is what you get for being a fish priest. 25. Oh, you hit eight damage. Eight? I finally rolled a three on a damage die. Uh, and then 18 to okay. hit. Roll it. Oh, 11. Finally. Decent. Nice. Nice. So I cut. And I cut and I stab it and I stick it. Blah, cut the fish. And he is now covered in gashes and pricks. As Stenel and Jewel lay into him. I think that's Stenel's way of saying he prefers Shishima. <laughs> <laughs> Singer, armor class? 18. He swims diagonal to you. And you manage to swim in somersault out of the way of his spear. <laughs> 17 China's the same. Hits you for two. Just a quick graze. I'm getting kind of low. Mm -hmm. Let us like know when are. you've dropped. Yeah. The crab walks forward. Balls. Crab to crab. The giant enemy crab crunches onto the apparatus and picks it up out of the water. Uh-oh. Dem ball. He didn't even get to use it. I like how you put in its name that there's no talking, no being friends with this guy not a giant crab. It's not a giant blue crab. This is a giant enemy crab. <laughs> Better than oh, a yeah. giant enema crab. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> that would be worse. Th that would be worse. Yes. So your armor class. 18. <laughs> Very lucky. <laughs> it picks up grunt 20, squishes it, and then eats it. So it's oh. enemy to all. Oh. oh, that's gross. Jelly reaches out with its goopy tendrils and wraps around the priest. Mm -mm. And the goopy tendrils lift the Kuatua priest off the ground, drags the priest into it. Does that allow me an opportunity attack? It does. <laughs> it's getting dragged uh, into 19, the jelly and you're stabbing it. 19? You hit? 5, 4 plus 1. It winces as it gets carried off. Who knows what that jelly does? Maybe it's like an apparatus. Dimble, your turn. Yeah. Oh boy. Was it? Did you say this thing was just came up to me, or did it? I can't remember. Did it grab the apparatus? Yeah, and it's mm -hmm. you're in the air, being flailed. Seems it seems bad for me. He tells me that trying to hit this thing with these uh, little claws isn't going to do much good. Uh, hmm. you can always try. I'm just trying to think of like I'm I'm currently like feel like I'm in a weird spacecraft. I'm like being jostled around inside this thing, trying to decide if he would try to jump out or do something else. Let me take a look. What are the apparatus options? Number five, you could uh, you could make a melee attack against it. If your claws are extended, you could do two. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's attack at it twice. Crab v. Crab. Ooh, I can try and grapple it so that it, when it tries to throw me, I'm holding on to it instead of... No, that's fine. <laughs> Can reverse grapple. I mean, you can try and break the grapple. Uh, I mean, can I? That's the thing. It's like it's not. I'm like it's not like I can try to make an athletics check from inside of a tank. Yeah, but it doesn't. I, I yeah, I, like I'm I'm just at a loss for what to try and do. Um, well, I rolled a seven plus eight to attack at it. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. That is a all right. Let's do it again. Uh, how about a nat 20 plus eight? That definitely hits. Roll your crit. <laughs> Should All hit. Right. 46. Oh, and you do have reach. It says reach five feet. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah, that's sta standard reach, yeah. You can hit something five feet away in the next square. Yeah. So six, 11. Okay. So your claw reaches out and grabs its claw, and you feel the chitin crack a little bit. 
And it doesn't look phased. It's just doing giant crab stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will buckle up. You're essentially a no maraca. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Only instead of being shh, 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 it's the thunk, the thunk, the thunk. It's great. It's great. Just, just shake, jostle shake, the gnome. Shake, Fine. senora. Shake your body right. The priest inside the goop, you can see he starts to dissolve the light. Gross. <laughs> the lightning inside of it picks up. You can see ghastly faces swirling, and the whole thing lets out a cacophony of eerie moans as it starts to quiver and reshape. Our adventurers are pinched between a giant crab ha. and a weird gelatinous ooze. They're low on resources and low on health. Will they make it out of this flooded Kuatoa cavern? Next time on Total Party Guild. But before we go, we have some messages for you. I don't know. I don't have anything prepared. Just uh, this was... We're recording on the 7th of November and the results of the election have been announced and... There have been a lot of controversies around it, I'm sure. So um, just take care of yourself, take care of your mental health and um, do some self-care. It's really advocating for taking care of yourself this week. Um, And probably this will come out three weeks in the future. So I'm sure it hasn't gotten a lot better. So just take care of yourself. Uh, Yeah, this year has definitely been like just one long advertisement for cookies, greasy food, and liquor. Like, there's no... And Prozac. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Not sponsored by Prozac. But yeah. But once you're done <laughs> popping your Prozac country. and eating your pizza, remember to check us out on social media and maybe send us pics of your amazing quarantine creations. Uh, I, I expect a lot of sourdough bread and... Um, DM me if you want to send me some of that bread because I love carbs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that love is deeply shared. Uh, and please remember to uh, rate, uh, review, subscribe, hit the little notification icon, uh, and then share this with your friends. Uh, yep. You know, Tell them you're going to put on some music and then ba-bam, hit them with TPG. <laughs> And if you have any questions, comments, or just want to uh, reach out, uh, you can get to us at TotalPartyGuild at gmail.com. And we will write back and respond and say happy, happy things, because we all need happy, happy things. Yes, please. And does our guest have anything he wants to add before we go? Based on when this is coming out, everyone safe travels for the holidays. Try not to get you know stuck in a pass somewhere because you don't know how to drive on snow. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that's that's a good and until next time party on party on party on, party on. Party on.